All you guys are lean. Uh, you guys are all lean machines, man. Look how lean you are. Are you working out all the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is being fit is super important? Uh, you know, I I think it's like, it's like a different kind of fit, right? Like we're yeah. up, like all of us or none of us are really like big, right? right? You know, we're all fairly short, uh, fairly yeah, skinny, lean. Um, like you don't see a bunch of us like buff, right? Yeah, because sure. you don't really need to be. And, you don't need uh, to be. It's a different. Uh, you know, different kind of requirement for what we do. Like we do a lot of like when we're in the car, it's a lot of like shoulders and core and like heart rate stuff. And that's, that's, are big. you working and, on keeping your heart rate down? Is that something or just it, your cardio in general? Kind of the cardio in general. And then like one thing that I do a lot is like, you know, your heart rate isn't up like the whole race, right? Like yeah. there's moments you get excited and there's moments that are, you know, has a lot, a lot on the line. And it's like, and the cars are hot too, right? They're, like they're like hot. 130 degrees in there, so they're they get yeah, warm. Because you have those like those uh, those foot covers, right? Like yeah, they, they, those are little crazy. booties we call them to uh, keep your feet from burning. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. that helps out a little bit. Yeah, um, but we do a lot of training. Like, okay, heart rate's up. I'm really tired. I'm really hot. Like, can you focus on what you're doing? So uh -huh. like, I do a lot of training like that. Like, kick my ass on a workout get me really tired and and now it's like all right i have to we're doing a drill to like focus on another task while you're like struggling and that's what you because how long yeah. is an average race race uh three to four hours that's a long yeah. time dude yeah that's a really long time yeah they're i mean they're they're pretty long we have one that we have one 600 mile race in charlotte that's the longest one um, but then yes, most of them are four or five hundred miles yeah because the whole but, the whole thing about that is not just your um your skill set and you know obviously having hoping the car's operating well but yeah. like staying focused because minds can drift i mean that's what happens to yeah that's the biggest we not only do like physical training like mental training too right like yeah. i think you get just as mentally tired as physically tired in those things oh my right? god just trying to concentrate especially at like daytona yeah there's so much going on because you're you know so close to each other and you're like have a thousand thoughts a second right like, yeah you're always trying to make decisions and a lot of times you can't think, you're just kind of acting, you're reacting. Yeah. Cause a lot of times if you like, something's happening, uh, let me think about it. Uh, I missed the move, right? Yeah. Like you missed your opportunity to do something and go forward. So yeah, it's mentally exhausting. It, yeah. it can be, and some tracks are worse than others as far as like after Daytona, you're mentally exhausted just cause there's so much shit going on. Um, you know, other racetracks aren't maybe as mentally exhausted, exhausting, but. Yeah, they're all unique. Is that like, is your typical post-race, you know, time just chilling? Like, are you just like, I'm done? Um, yeah, I mean, we fly home right after the races. So, uh, do. like, like this weekend we'll get done racing Coda Sunday and we fly right back to North Carolina. You do. And uh, so, yeah, it's like that night is like a really good, like, decompress. And you sleep well after a, a race? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I sleep pretty good. I have no problem falling asleep. That's yeah. great. So that part's nice. And then what is like your... What's a general training, you know, like a look like going up to a race? Like, are you on a track every day? You know, I know that you go to the city of the race and you guys have your qualify and all that. Yeah. But I'm saying like when you, before you get to that city, are you on a track all the time? No, no. no. So we, um, not at all. Like during the whole week, we don't, we're not allowed to test anywhere. Uh, so we don't like practice in a car mm -hmm. um, other than, you know, well, like today we have practice at Coda, uh, but I wasn't in a car all week. So um, we used to do that stuff every now and then. Uh, it's it's tough to get, you know, if you're going to go practice, you want to go practice at the tracks you're racing at. Sure. And then I think a handful of years ago, NASCAR kind of canceled that, like trying to cut costs down for all the teams, not allowed to go test anywhere. So that kind of put a big, uh, that kind of really sucked on not being able to test. But now, gosh, technology is so good. We have like simulators. I was going to say, are you big on the simulators? Yeah, I do them before like road courses. So like before Coda this weekend, I did it yesterday. You did. Um, are they pretty great? I mean, I've sat on them before, but for you guys, are they great? Yeah. So each manufacturer has their own like simulator facility and uh, Ford has like, hell, they have three now. And uh, it's a new one. It's just a big like, just a big silo room with all these cameras that are like 360 degrees and you're in a full motion, like half race car. And uh, it, they're actually really good. Um, 
they're a good tool to use, I think. Yeah, I mean, especially I, now. I know that some like a lot of the F one guys are yeah, big on those. It's the same thing. Um, yeah. And I was thinking because when I was talking about like your your size and everything, I, I had uh, Daniel Ricardo on, and um, he was telling me for for them for F one, he said like any like for anything over like one hundred and sixty pounds, he's like they they consider that you're starting to give up time. Yeah. So almost all those guys are around that weight or less. Yeah. I would say light. I'd say we're fairly similar. We have some guys that are over that. Yeah. Um, 160 yeah we have we have a good amount of guys over that i think yeah um like i walk around it like in the in the winter time i walk around at like 150 but then like it, during the season i'm sub one i'm like 142 Damn. 143 but that's yeah. but your walk around if you weren't trying would be in like that 150 range anyway um yeah like when like i don't really train a lot in the off season yeah. like the three months we get off two and a half months yeah. we get off i just like eat a lot and don't yeah. do a lot yeah. so <laughs> Uh, I gain a little bit, but I can I get it off really fast because like the way they weigh us, like the cars have to weigh a certain amount with the driver, like mm -hmm. thirty three fifty, and uh, and so when they go through like scales each week, the car, uh, the drivers aren't sitting in the car, so they weigh the drivers every year, yeah, you know, to see like I'm one forty, so yeah. the car has to weigh X without me without in it, without you in it, yeah. you know. So there used to be a lot of games going on like. I weighed in a few years like 175. You did? Because I, like, you'd go way in, you'd have your suit on, oh. and like you'd strap a bunch of weight to you. You would? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So your car would weigh less. Your car would weigh like 20 pounds less. But every, then they- Every little trick. Then they got, they, some people caught on to that, and now we like weigh in in our underwear. So you can't, you can't cheat it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, unless you like have anal beads or something. Sure. You can't do that. You can do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could put really I don't heavy. Wanna, I don't want to win that bad. I don't think really I can do that. Really heavy anal, yeah. anal beads in there. Yeah. <laughs> Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.